What's going on guys? Just want to give you guys a quick update on uh, what's going on with Jester. So we played the show there on September 9th at Governor's with the Call for Submission. Great show, had an awesome time. Call for Submission was great. They rock. They played a couple Metallica covers, you know, that was awesome. I had a lot of fun playing the bass at that show. A lot of fun. It was, it was great. It was great to get back on the bass. <sighs> with that being said, me and the guys decided uh, collectively that uh, I'm going to stay a little bit active on the bass moving forward, you know, writing it and stuff like that. Um, maybe a little bit of playing live. But with that being said, we're going to need, you know, a, a particular person to come in and do the bass because we're going to need someone that can also, you know, have their chops up for guitar. And we need someone that already has their chops up. That's, that, that may not be, be easy to find. That may not be easy to find here in Cape Breton. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I wrote something on our Facebook there about it uh, not long ago. It's like, so you want to find somebody to play in a metal band that's, uh, you know, getting somewhere close to 30 years of age, uh, like the rest of us, uh, but you also want to find someone that's a bass player? Good luck. But we may have just found the right person. I'm not going to say who it is quite yet. Uh, we might have a show in a few weeks. If we get enough interest, uh, you know, from people asking, we, we, we might release it a little bit early, but for now, we'll let you know, we'll let you know. Uh, what else has been going on? Studio, studio uh, went really good, uh, not last Saturday, not last Saturday, but Saturday previous. Uh, we were in there with Mark Scott at Smashbox uh, Recordings, uh, in the video there. We did our first day of mixing, and, uh, well, we're actually, we're going to be back uh, for a couple of more days there, I would say. We thought it was only going to take one more day of mixing. Um, we, well, we thought it was only going to be one more day in the studio and we were going to be done. But it looks like these songs are just going to need a little bit more attention. That's the way it has to be. If you need the songs to sound a certain way, it's going to take some more time. That's the way it is. That's fine. We're still going to be releasing them before the new year, we figure. You know, for sure. For sure. So details on the uh, release show will be coming up. Uh, keep checking our Facebook page for that. Other than that, uh, we've been jamming, writing, we jammed there last Saturday with our, uh, with our new uh, bass player. That went really well. I we started working on a new tune, and that's, that's really coming along well. It, it shreds. It's, it's a shred. Uh, so that's, uh, that's really going to be interesting. We're, we're really, uh, really having a lot of fun with writing. We've been in the studio so much the past few months that writing, uh, as an often does when we go to the studio, because we put on the back burner. But we're getting back to our writing now. We're really looking forward to showing you guys what we got coming up. We think you're really going to enjoy it. We're really enjoying it. So we hope that you stay with us. Thanks for everybody's support thus far. Stick with us. We'll be talking to you soon. One more thing I forgot. Uh, we're actually, uh, I got contacted by Cape Radio, Maddie Burke at Cape Radio there. Uh, which is going to be cool. Matty Burke, he's got a uh, radio program that runs on Wednesdays from 1 till 2. It's called uh, Homegrown. So we'll be on that in, uh, in a couple of weeks, you know, leading up to the, uh, the release show. Uh, go check out Cape Radio uh, if you haven't yet. Um, they do a lot of awesome stuff with a lot of awesome music going in here. Go check it out. So, talk to you soon.